Hey guys, uh, this is Drew here, uh, making some grain spawn lids today uh, with self-healing injection ports and filter patches, uh, or filter discs. Um, and I just wanted to show you guys how I'm doing this because I think this, uh, this is one of the faster ways that I've done this before. Um, I'm just using this uh, the RTV red silicone gasket maker. Um, this stuff's everywhere. I'll put a link down below uh, to, to buy that stuff. They sell it at Walmart. They sell it everywhere. Uh, the filter patches that I'm using are from uh, Post Office, Tyvek uh, envelopes. I just cut little circles out of them. Um, I've already got all the filter patches done, uh, but I just wanted to show you on this uh, how I'm doing the RTV here. I've got gloves on, um, but I've also got a wet paper towel around my finger. Um, and what that does is it lets me, here, come in a little bit, this lets me do the injection port here. And then, let's see a little bit, it came through the bottom too. And then with the wet paper towel, you can touch this stuff and it doesn't stick to it. So you can make your disc flat there and then come through, push it down on the bottom. What's nice about doing it this way too, is I don't know if you can see or not, but there's a little bump from where I just pushed some up in. So that'll tell you exactly where your hole is. You don't have to do any guesswork later on uh, when you're actually injecting to inoculate these lids. So a little trick with the wet paper towel on the finger. Um, I think that's gonna save people a ton of time if they're doing the paper version. Um, peeling those things off in the morning is a pain. Uh, so that's it. Let me know if you have any questions or any other suggestions, anything I could be doing faster or better. Uh, let me know and I'll uh, see you guys soon. Bye.